And so the final story I wanted to do here, it's sort of late breaking news just as we were walking in. And uh, so SpaceX again uh, is working on this massive rocket called uh, the uh, Starship. And uh, this is designed to carry up to 100 people or something like 120 tons into Earth orbit. Um, and they just unveiled this uh, not too long ago. But here's what Elon Musk's uh, um, dream is, is, is sending these things to Mars in the next, um, in the next decade and actually establishing a, a, a sustainable colony. And so back at the end of, of September, they unveiled their first prototype of this, uh, this rocket. And, and it's, uh, this one is built in McGregor, Texas. It's, uh, it's uh, not too far from uh, Corpus Christi. And uh, this is about uh, 240 feet tall. And uh, it's just a massive uh, structure. It's built out of stainless steel, which is a, a fairly amazing thing. But the next step in this is to actually start doing some flight tests. And the first test they want to do is to launch this up to about 20 kilometers and then land it vertically back at the launch site and keep doing this over and over to get the experience. And so today was the first time that they've actually gotten to the point of um, pressurizing the fuel tanks. And so they loaded the liquid methane and liquid oxygen into the fuel tanks. And uh, this is a sort of a time lapse of what happened. And I think you'll see this a little better here. So uh, it basically popped the top off of the rocket um, and vented all the liquid oxygen. And there it is now. And you can see it's, you know, it's certainly damaged on the end. The, uh, the cap on the end, and I don't have it in this video, but it, it launched it several hundred feet into the air and then it crashed down uh, near the launch pad. But this is obviously a, uh, not the desired outcome, but the, uh, the reality is you have to test these things and you learn in most cases a lot more by a test that, that doesn't work the way you expected it to than you do by everything goes well and, uh, and you just sort of get complacent. And so the, uh, the statement from SpaceX is this test was intended to be a maximum pressurization of all the, the uh, tanks on board and it wasn't entirely surprising that it failed. And uh, so I'm sure they'll be uh, learning a lot about that and going back to the drawing board and, and hopefully that's something that uh, we'll be seeing flying in the, uh, uh, in the sometime in the next year.